This is your captain speaking. Please pay attention to the following safety briefing. The general hazards for this lab are displayed on the outside of the door. Your crew will explain the specific hazards at the beginning of each lab session. Proper attire for this lab is a lab coat that is buttoned up and covered shoes. Steel toed jandals do not count. If you have long hair, please tie it up and out of the way of your work. Should latex gloves be required or safety glasses, these will be provided. There is to be no eating or drinking in this lab. This includes drinking bottles and chewing gum. You don't know what has happened in there previously. Do not pipette by mouth. The use of phones, laptops and tablets during the lab is at the discretion of the crew. Don't let these devices interfere with your concentration. And be mindful of contamination. Wash your hands and remove your lab coat before leaving the lab even just to use the toilet. If you need to evacuate the lab due to a fire or a fire drill, please follow the instructions of your crew. They know what to do. Turn off all sources of ignition, including the gas supply to Bunsen burners and all electrical equipment. In an orderly fashion, proceed out of the primary exit as shown by your crew. Then head down to the assembly area Please keep off the road while there. Remain there until instructed by the building warden or member of the campus security team. Should the primary exit be blocked, then make use of one of the secondary exits as shown here. Should you injure yourself or see someone else injured, let one of the crew know immediately. This applies to a near miss. The crew can apply first aid get help from student health services and or call for an ambulance. An online system is used to report accidents and incidents and you may be asked to provide information. Please make your crew aware of any medical conditions that you have that may affect you in this lab. There is safety equipment in this lab that you should be aware of. Here is a lab floor plan showing their locations. A first aid kit A fire extinguisher. A lime container to neutralize acid spills. A sand bucket for spill containment. The broken glassware bucket. A safety shower. And an eye wash station. Ow, oh, ow, oh, 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 oh. Much better. We all wanted to see that, didn't we? Fire alarm activation switches located at each end of the hallway. Should a major earthquake happen, seek shelter under the lab benches. Once it has stopped, turn off all ignition sources and assist any injured people to evacuate the building by the nearest exit. Proceed to the assembly point. Should there be a campus-wide security incident, then a distant siren will sound and people should receive an informational text. Turn off all lights, lock the doors and get out of sight. Stay put and report all suspicious activity to campus security. Please report any glassware breakages and equipment failures to a crew member so they can clean it up safely and provide a replacement. Place all your personal gear in one of the cubby holes, keeping the aisles clear. <sighs> Toilets are located in the R1 hallways. There are drinking fountains in the bathrooms. During warmer periods, the lab can get quite stuffy, especially when occupied by lots of people. Do not ignore feelings of overheating. Open the windows, reduce layers under your lab coat, and take a quick break outside. Please now fill in the form, complete with your name and student ID number, 
make sure you print clearly. When finished, please return it to a crew member. Thank you for your attention.